Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new employment opportunity, specifically for electronic students who had given GATE examination this particular year, that is GATE 2024 examination. This recruitment opportunity has been released by Power Grid for their subsidiary company, which is known as PowerTel. Now, what we can do is we can go on the website, official website of Power Grid and uh, you can look out for the job opportunities over there and in the job opportunities section we will we can see the number one position uh, which is being mentioned over here which is the latest one uh, recruitment of trainee engineers electronics for power trail through gate 2024 examination and we can also look out for the detailed advertisement for this position which has been released for recruitment of trainee engineers now it is for Powertel and uh, Power Grid, as you all know, it's a Maharatna company and the uh, opportunity is one of the best out there right now in India. Uh, why? Because most of the students are aiming towards going towards PSU only and this is one of the best times to go for PSUs. Why? In the sense of the competition which is being currently witnessed right now. Competition is very, very less and um, selection has become much more easier as compared to what was the scenario five years back. Um, when we see uh, the number of vacancies which are released, they are for the position of engineering graduates, right? Uh, this is for engineering graduates and position is trainee engineer electronics. Uh, now it is to be fulfilled for various offices which are being uh, run by power grid over here. So trainee engineer electronics 470 sorry total number of vacancies are 22 and the post id is 472 in this unreserved vacancies are 11 aws 2 obc non creamy layer it is 5 sc category it is 3 and st category it is 1 and one for physically handicapped it is uh, over here right and the uh, class of the Disability is also mentioned, which is as per the uh, given information in this particular article, right? And here it is for the physically handicapped uh, students. If you want to apply, you can apply and you can look out for the disability, what they are talking about over here. Now, let's see the job specification. Job specification is trainee engineer and essential qualification is that you, you need to have BE or BTEC or BSc in engineering in the electronics domain and minimum 60% marks are required to be maintained in your degree, right? Now you should have a full-time uh, BTEC, not part-time BTEC, right? Part-time BTEC, BTEC students are not applied, are not uh, eligible over here. One more thing, discipline, you can see. See, in various colleges, the discipline is separate. Either they will be mentioning only electronics, either it will be electronics and electrical engineering like that. Some will say electronics and telecommunication. Some will be, some will be mentioning electronics and communication only like that. So what are the name of the streams which are applicable? They have mentioned all the names. Other than that, they will not be eligible over here. Electronics uh, or electric, electronics and communication or electronics and telecommunication, electronics and electrical communication and telecommunication engineering. These students will be eligible for this particular position. Now after this, valid GATE score of 2024 will be considered for the position fulfilling, right? And your paper code is EC, you all know this, right? Then only you will be applicable over here. Now upper age limit is 28 years as on 19th of December 2024. This is your upper age limit. Not even one day more than this 28 years. Right. Um, after this pay scale. So pay scale as per the pay commission which is out there right now. Uh, it is for this particular position 30,000 rupees per month to 120,000 rupees per month. This will include all the allowances and perks which are out there. DNS allowance is there, HRA is there, perks and other perks, right? Um, you know, travel allowances, medical allowances, etc. And uh, at 12% of the basic pay per month during the training period. Now, this position is EO level. So, EO or E0 level, some say EO, some say 
EO level. Right? All the other provisions uh, of the allowances are also mentioned over here. If you want to look at into it, you can look into it. And there will be a bond of 5 lakh rupees uh, for a specific amount of period uh, so that you do not leave your um, job before a specific time. Now, application fees is 500 rupees only. That's it. For SC, ST, PWD category, ex-servicemen and DESM candidates who are exempted from the payment of application fee. Other than that, all the categories are supposed to pay the application fee and which is non-refundable. So when we calculate the CTC and everything, this turns out to be 3.25 lakhs per year, right, annually. Annual pay package, it is like that. And uh, career progression is also mentioned. Um, e zero level can go to E1 level and then it, they can go to E2 level and up to E6 level, right? Eligibility is five years for that. After this, E0 to E1, five years, excluding the training period. This is the eligibility period and some, everything is mentioned. Relaxations and concessions uh, regarding the age limit and uh, the qualification is also mentioned. So relaxation in upper age limit, you can see for OBC non creamy layer students, it is three years and this is subject to reservation of the post. After that, for ST and ST candidates, it is five years. After that, for physically handicapped students, it is somewhere around 10 years over and above the category of relaxation and after that there is ex-servicemen, DSM and victims of riots and everything as per government of India directives it will be mentioned right and you are supposed to carry uh, your official uh, reservation certifications and everything which are mentioned over here reservation relaxation and concession for the post reserve for the respective category will be subject to all these things which are mentioned, they should be as latest as possible. The certificates which are mentioned uh, before you know, the financial year of 2023 and 2024, right? For all these categories, they have mentioned specifically. And obviously, the detailed advertisement will attach in the description box. You can look into it if you are from a specific category. After this, this is one of the most important sections. Here we will discuss what is the selection process for this position. The selection process consists of normalized marks obtained by the gate uh, in your gate examination, gate 2024 examination. And there will be a behavioral assessment, group discussion and a personal interview. So these three sections are separate other than your gate 2024 examination. Eligible candidates should have qualified and secured a valid gate score corresponding to the paper of 2024. Now, after this, candidates shall be shortlisted for, based upon your gate score, you will be shortlisted for behavioral assessment, group discussion and personal interview based on their normalized marks out of 100 which you have got in your gate 2024 examination, right? Candidates shall have the option of appearing in group discussion or interview in Hindi or in English. So in any of the language which you are comfortable in, either Hindi or English, you can ask them, sir, I am comfortable in Hindi. Please let me continue with this in Hindi. Sir, I am comfortable in English. Please let me continue with this in English, right? After this, candidates shall obtain the information about the status through the candidate login and everything. On the official website, you will be going uh, to the website and uh, on the previous section where I mentioned it over here, you can apply it over here. This green button, you can click on this and you can apply it over here. After this, um, unreserved vacancy including EWS, it is 40% and reserve vacancies, there are 30 now, group discussion will not have any qualifying marks. There are no qualifying marks. Again, it will be subject to their uh, requirement. Now, weightage has been mentioned. 85% weightage is given to gate score. This is a substantially good amount of weightage which is given to gate score. Many people, many students are very much concerned about their performance in the group discu uh, discussion and interviews. See, group discussions, it, it is only 3%. See, again, I'll, I'll not say that you can ignore this group discussion. Um, group discussion is very, very important. It can lead to a selection of a candidate which is well equipped uh, with the, you know, communication aspect of their personality. But again, I'll say 85% is gate examination, right? So I'll not say these two sections are not important. They are important, but right now, gate score. After that, based upon that group discussion and personal interview. Now, um, again, your 
part of selection will also become easier because we all know this that this year somewhere around 65,000 students appeared for electronics communication domain. So our selection becomes easier and shortlisting process becomes easier for us if we are well above uh, top 1% right now. Right. And uh, recruitment of trainee engineer electronics power tool, everything other than that. Uh, so see, they have mentioned prior to this year's gate examination, other than gate 2024, gate 2023 or prior are not valid. So you cannot apply it over here. Your health standards and everything should be as per the norms of power grid. So they have not specified that. Uh, but they have mentioned, please visit the career section of our website to see what is the health standard. They have not specified in this notification, but you have to go and look into that. Some people are concerned about their um, walking and everything, eyesight, whatever it is, it is mentioned on the official website over there. Uh, important instructions of registration and application, you can see. Um, gate application number, gate 2024 registration number and the other required information should be mentioned by the student who is applying over here. Any other mode of submission of application is not accepted. So you have to go over there on the official website. You have to create a login ID with your valid email ID and your alternate email ID and mobile number. Everything should be, uh, you know, proper. So please keep it do it. Uh, keep a check on that. After that, upon completion, the candidate should submit online application by clicking submit button at the bottom of the page. So see, point is why they are mentioning this simple point over here. Students tend to make a silly mistake while filling up the form also. That's why they have mentioned it over here specifically, the simple point also. Obviously, they have you have to submit the application form, but why they are mentioning it? Because there are some students who make a silly mistake that they forget to submit it at the end. Right. So that's why they have mentioned over here. Now, uh, candidates are also advised to make a note of their email ID and uh, of whatever in information you have mentioned. Uh, document verifications and everything at the time uh, you have to keep uh, with yourself so that you are putting the correct information inside of it. So if the candidate is called for group discussion, interview or joining in PowerTel, he or her uh, identity would be verified with your admit card, your original scorecard and therefore candidates are requested to carry both of these. See, not only your scorecard, you have to carry your admit card as well. So carry both together. Uh, your application fees is also not refunded back and uh, moreover, you are supposed to full, fill in the passport size photograph, signature and date of birth. Your matriculation certificate, which is your 10th class certificate, you are supposed to upload that. Right? And the specifications regarding your maximum size of the file, you can see it over here. It is 50 KB. And after that qualification certificate, non-objection certificate of your uh, category, everything, all the certifications regarding your ex-serviceman. If you are an ex-serviceman, then you are supposed to upload it. PWBD category and everything. So you are supposed to upload that. Right. And specification of the file size is also mentioned. And other informations are also mentioned over here. So you can look into it. So I'll, um, you know, I'll make sure that this particular notification is down there in the description box below. Uh, important points I've explained to you. If you want to look into more information over here, you can look into it. So thanks for watching. And please do fill in this form. It's a wonderful opportunity out there through GATE 2024 examination. Thank you for watching.